Chillin' to find me. Thank you. One more time for Mateus. How amazing was it? Wow. Wow. If you want more live music, guys, downstairs, downstairs, they even got karaoke. I can see some of you guys are like singy people that like to sing along. There's some the screens there, so you don't need to worry about not knowing the lyrics. So yeah, straight after this, you can go downstairs. There's a main stage. I'm going to introduce you to the mayor of Hammersmith and Fulham. It's got a beautiful necklace, which... I'm really eyeing up. <laughs> Back at it. I saw you. I was just chatting at. I was just chatting at Mateus. Yeah. Well, he is bloody great, wasn't he? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. God, I hate young people. I'm looking at you all. You're young. Yeah. Absolutely awful. Um, I'm really proud to be here tonight because it's two of my favourite groups. One is the Hammersmith Bid, who've been doing what we call lyric fests. Yeah, ever since I was a boy, yeah. So that must be at least 99 years. Yeah. And, and the other one is the lyric. And I just think, yeah, what a theatre. What a theatre. And I just, I just love the way that they work with young people. Absolutely love it. And one of the things I do every year is kind of one of my, um, I don't know, hobbies, for want of a better word, because I'm rather sad, is I always come on the last night of the panto. And it is absolutely brilliant. And we see the young people here. Yeah, that have been brought up with the lyric on stage. And you just think, boy, you know, are they, are they something special? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah? Quite as special as Mateus and all the other people that, that have been singing here tonight. Um, absolutely brilliant. I, I, oh, God, no, don't stop. Don't stop. Go. Um, I, I, I see that in a, in a while we're going to have karaoke. And... I would love to say how much I'm looking forward to that, but I'm not. I'm not. I would love to say it's fantastic. I've only ever done karaoke once, and it was in mainland China, where I've been invited over. And the, the people in mainland China are really, really polite. And we were taken as part of this group to um, an airline in, um, in Xi'an. And the first thing you have to understand is that here I was, a little white guy, working for an Asian airline, being sent out to Xi'an on a really important piece of company business. So I asked my boss, I said, Jeeps, thanks, you're sending me, why? He said, because you can drink, right? <laughs> not because you're good, not because you know your job, but because you can drink. So, okay, so let's number one go to China, learn how to drink, and this night, we got absolutely stocious, absolutely <laughs> stocious. And the guy organizing it on the Chinese side said, we're going to have some karaoke, and it's really important that you sing. And I went, no, it's not. He went, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. And I did sing. And it was so good that at the end of it, I came back and sat down. And the Chinese are very much into face, how important face is. And this guy said to me, do you know what? You were right. It would have been far better if you hadn't sung. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did question his parentage, but he was absolutely right. But we're going to have a bit of karaoke, and that's going to be downstairs. Um, but before we have that, we're going to have John Kelly and his friends, and um, I'm called PJ Murphy, so John Kelly sounds somewhat Irish, I guess. So we're going to have John Kelly and his friends, and then that's going to be the ultimate anthem, anthems after that, and then the mass karaoke. So please, come on. Let's go on downstairs and have a really good night and a couple of beers and just really enjoy ourselves. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> 